In this section, we're going to be looking at power. And the way I want to introduce power is by a thought experiment. So let's say we have a crate which has a mass of 50 kilos and it is attached to a rope that runs around a smooth pulley and then it is being pulled by a person down here on the ground. Now there are going to be two people uh, that are challenging each other to pull the crate up the full two metres to the peg okay, to determine who is the strongest um, or who has the most power. In this case. Now the current measurement that we've looked at um, is work done, okay, where we're multiplying the force by the distance. Now let's say that both of these people manage to pull the crate right up to the top. So they pull it up the full two meters. But the first person is able to do it in half the time of the other. Now the work done is going to be precisely the same because that is the force multiplied by the distance. That is not changing with respect to the time. So power takes that into account. Power is the work done, which is measured in joules, divided by time, measured in seconds. Okay, and power is measured in watts, so this will be in watts. So one watt is the uh, power produced when one joule of work uh, is done in one second. Okay, now one watt is very small, so um, Usually, we end up working in kilowatts, so one kilowatt is 1,000 watts, as you might expect. Okay, so um, this allows us to consider problems like this where uh, we have a time element. Now, uh, what's important to note in this is with, that we are assuming that the work is being done at a constant rate, okay? Um, and so we're looking at the average power.